Hello, hello, hello. It's Kathy Vidal of MyStandingSpot.com coming to you with Thankful Thursday. I'm late today. We have something going on in my extended family, so I am very scatterbrained, so I apologize right off the bat. All right, so I want to talk to you a couple things about the uh, new catalog that's coming up that will be available to order on the 6th. Um, as you can see here, I'm working on a, hey there, Karen, how are you? I'm working on a 12 by 12, not loving it. I don't know what I'm going to do there, but I did create something else and I love it and I want to show it to you. So this is the one I'm working on. This is, um, this is actually the paper, not this green tree, but these trees, the bear, this is the paper that's coming in my Christmas um, kit in September. Um, I just pulled elements of it to try to try to come up with this. But this is what I really, really love. And um, look at this. Well, wait, I got to turn some lights off. And hold on, let me turn some lights off. It might get a little dark for a second. Look at this. This will be a class. Oh, it's lit up. There we go. Isn't that cool? So this will be a class. It will come without a frame. If you are local, this will be available on Stampa Stack Day. Hey, Donna. Hey, Janet. Um, in October, no, November, Stampa Stack in November, this will be available. And this will be a class kit to go in November. But I just had to show it right out of the bat, right out of the bat. I do want to tell you, um, I'm looking something up as we talk. When I logged on to Facebook, a demonstrator group that I belong to was talking about product unavailability and um okay i'm gonna have to look it up i guess it's not what i'm thinking it was i was thinking it was these dies but i don't think it is um but anyway tomorrow's newsletter if you're not on my newsletter list and you want a copy of the newsletter please email me k bedell b-e-d-e-l-l at comcast.net um it's going to be full of all my class offerings from September 1st till mid-October. Why am I doing it so early, even though some of them aren't getting mailed out till later? I'll tell you why. I think this catalog has such goodness in it, and this catalog has been wildly popular with the demonstrators, that I am nervous that things are going to go out of stock. So if I know ahead of time roughly how many people want classes, even if you don't pay for them up front, okay, I will keep a running list. Now, if you want to register and pay for everything when the newsletter comes out, awesome. I love that. But if you love a lot of it and you can't afford to register for it all right out of the gate, but you know you want it, send me an email. And when we ship the class, I will PayPal invoice you. But that will at least give me time to get the products in-house when they become available on September 6th, as long as I have your commitment. Hey, Jane, thanks for being here. So um, this is the one item that, well, oh, thank you, Karen. This is the one item that will you will not see in, the, well, maybe I will put it in the email. Maybe I will put it in the email, but it, well, I don't think I will put it in the email because this actually won't be ready till November to ship. Only because I have so much cutting that has to be done. So this is the one item you will not see in the email. But this is coming to mail in November. So you have plenty of time to make it and hang it on your wall or give it as a gift. It will come with the lights. It will come with all the die cut pieces. It even has the cute little star embellishment. Um, you will have to purchase your own frame. Hint, hint. These come from Michael's. And they're two for fifteen dollars. So there you go. Okay. I want to show you one class. You can go back and look at Tuesday's class. I think it was Tuesday to see all the class offerings that will be tomorrow. But I want to show you the one class that was not done. 
just so when you see it tomorrow, you know. Let me put the lights back on. Yeah, the lights make it everything, don't they? I'm working on another non-religious holiday one, too. I just don't have it now. Okay, um, so this class... Um, it will be in my newsletter, but like I said, I'm pretty much taking pre-orders. So you can register for it early and wait for it to ship. Or you can email me and say, hey, I want that class, oh, holy night. Um, you know, PayPal me or I'll send a check closer to shipment date. That's okay, because I know we're all on budgets. So this is a fun fold. It's got the, um, this actually has a die cut and embossed gold layer star. And then it has one of the little decorative stars that will come with the class, and it's a fun fold. I love this. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So um, that's the first card. Here is the second card. A lot of these were modeled right off um, the catalog. I kind of just did interpretations of what was in the catalog. Um... And again, this has a die cut and embossed gold foil star. And you get all the pieces cut. This is another fun fold. This is my second fun fold in the class. You'll get this embossing. And there's your, your signature page. So, and then you'll get what you need to make. I don't know if you can see when I hang it. This again is in the catalog. It took me a little while to figure it out. Um, yeah, the old Holy Night set is awesome, Karen. It's so awesome. So this ornament, you'll get all the pieces and the directions to make it. And I will do a video on how to make this because I'm not going to lie. This little cording was a little tricky. It kept, um, going around the ring. This will spin if you want it to on, on your tree. This has the new beautiful ribbon. So this ribbon will be in your kit. Um, this gold foil paper is the light catching this is um, a four pack of foils. Maybe it's six pieces in there. Um, and you'll get a half pack of the Old Holy Night paper. Um, and this pack is a little bit more expensive. This class, usually my classes are 25, my clubs are 28. Uh, clubs come with eight cards. Classes typically come with four. This one's a little more expensive because you're paying for the ring and the ornament. And if you look, not including shipping coming to me, twenty-seven twenty-five is how much product is going to come with this class. It's going to come with a half pack of two different types of DSP, this navy ribbon, it's beautiful, and um, a package of these little star gems. And there's two different sizes. I don't know if I have the second size on any of these cards. Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger, although it's hard to... There you go. There you can see it. Um, so $27.25 without the shipping to me, which, as you know, is 11%, is, is my cost, not including what you get here, just the extra stuff. So $30 for the class is actually a decent price, I think. And they are beautiful if you like to celebrate Christmas for the reason... Uh, and like I said, I think it was Tuesday I did all the other classes in the newsletter if you want to see them. And I'll be showing them. And I will just say, I know that there are a few items already on back order just from demonstrators. Okay? So that's one of the advantages of being a demonstrator is you can order your products early. You don't have to worry about products going out of stock. I said back order. Stampin' Up! doesn't do back orders anymore. So items are out of stock. So, um, if you, uh, love to have new products in your hand and you don't want to risk them going out of stock, become a demonstrator because then you can get them. All right. So thankful Thursday, I brought out autumn leaves again, available September 6th. I have a whole class working around this DSP. Um, and it's a big class. It's eight cards. And I really, really enjoyed working with this. The paper does the heavy lifting. I do specifically love the labels on this. They are stitched. And then you have this tiny little thin label. So I don't know if you can see here. It says, I'm thankful with a grateful heart. But then there's a little teeny for all you do today and every day to have you as a friend. So, you know, you can put some of the bigger greetings 
in the stitched one and then add the tiny greeting underneath or kind of over it like this. Um, hey, Missouri Pat, thanks for being here, you guys. So I'm not going to be using the dies today, but I did just want to show you. This makes truly the coolest technique. I'm going to pull out one of the cards just so you can see it. So this is the big class I was showing you the other day. But check out this die here did all this wonderful, actually I'm going to kind of ruin my card here. Can you see just it made like the stitching look almost? It's just little teeny dots imprinted in there. Um, it's very unique, definitely. I love it. So anyway, that's a great set to have on your list. If you're into it, I'm not going to use the dies today. I am, if you've never been to New England in the fall, this would be the year to pick a trip because I am telling you, New England is going to be gorgeous and it's going to be early, early, early. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Um, New England's going to be very early this year. We already have trees turning here, which is exceptionally early. And we have a ton of acorns falling which means the back of all these papers has some sort of metallic on it. Um, look at your favorite sweater or knitted blanket. This is every street in my hometown here. Um, we have tons of acorns, which means a very bad winter. So we are preparing for a very bad winter here in New Hampshire. If you're in the Midwest, I know you know about bad winters. I don't have to tell you about them. So, I'm going to do a quick fun fold. Now, this card, I had a lot of trouble with this piece of paper because in this class of eight cards, I tried to use every pattern. Um, I was just as pretty if you live in the Midwest. We are called the city of, well, how about that? Nothing's more beautiful than maple trees when they turn, Karen, right? I had trouble with this. And I had trouble. This kind of just was a little dingy to me. However, yes, Tuesday bingo. Um, although, now that you mentioned Tuesday bingo, I'm glad you said that. You'll see it in the newsletter tomorrow. I have to postpone one week because my surgery uh, for my second cataract is next Tuesday. So I will be postponing it one week. And I'm really sorry if that messes you up, but I had to take what they would give me. Um... Look at this is this is one of my favorites right here. How pretty is that? So a week from Tuesday will be bingo this month. So this one and this one I had a little bit of trouble. Um, kind of the library feel. It's very cool. I think if you were a college professor, this would make an awesome card. Um, but what I did was I used the backs of these papers. So this pattern and this pattern, um, and I die cut leaves for this card. So that's how I utilized that pattern paper. Any of the ones I was struggling with, I used the back sides of them. So there you go. So we're going to use this today. Let's see. Oh, yay, Pat. Yay, yay. I'm glad you'll be with us. Hopefully we're not disappointing anyone else. I hope, I hope. I did bring over, because I never know what I'm going to do, I did bring over the ribbons that go with it. This copper ribbon is gorgeous. Ties awesome. This thick ribbon, very big for a bow, unless you were to do it on a package or whatnot. I used it as kind of a banner. I used it as accent pieces on my cards. Let's see, where else did I use it? I used it here. By the way, look, check out this embossing folder. Isn't it cool? It's like a... Uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's like an aged tile. But I use that ribbon here as a as an accent piece in the back of this cut. So, a cutter. I need a cutter. My kingdom for a cutter. Found one. All right. So here we go. Whew, that was a lot of talking, huh? We haven't even gotten anywhere. I am going to score this at four and a quarter. Actually, I'm going to score it at five and a half, cut it four and a quarter. I told you today would be simple. 
up by four and a quarter because I do have something going on with my extended family that kept me away from home all day. All right, so this is five and a half. Half of that would be uh, five and a half would be two and a half, two and three quarters. Here's your math. Did anybody see the video I posted this morning on the math? It's an old, old, funny skit. I thought it was hysterical because my kids went to school with new math. And they'd come home looking for help, and I'd say, where's your textbook? We don't have a textbook. What do you mean you don't have a textbook? I don't know how to do this math. Okay. Simple fun fold. Normally, we use it like this. I thought today we would use it like this. So let's see what we can do. Uh, let's pick... Oh, there we go. I don't even have to look any further than there. Let's put that on the inside. And maybe we'll pick some of these... I don't know. What do you like? Pumpkins or leaves? Do we want pretty leaves or do we want pumpkins? Let's see. We could do some pumpkins. Or we could do some leaves. What do you all think? I don't, I don't think, see now I'm wishing I had die cut leaves. I may have to bring an embossed machine over here. I'm going to do that. Excuse me while I grab an embossing machine. So I don't usually like to do this in front of you because I know it can be very laborious. So I'm apologizing now that I'm going to do this in front of you. Everybody's saying leaves. Okay, let's do leaves. All right, let's cut this piece first. Get that out of the way. So I'm going to cut this by four. Remember to save this. It's good on another card. By five and a quarter. And I don't even have to go any further because I know I'm going to adhere that inside. So I'm going to just put adhesive on that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. That's that mauve color with like a copper running through it. If you take the leaves class, you'll get a whole pack of... Oh, no, I'm sorry. You get one half pack of this paper. Um, the embellishments in this were pretty expensive, the ribbons and whatnot. So it's a half pack of this paper. So you get two sheets of each print. All right. Now, I think... So we know we have to go four because we know the card's four and a quarter. And then we know it's two and three quarters, so I'm going to cut this at two and a half. Like this. And I am actually going to commit and adhere that. Look at me committing. <laughs> yeah, the other sides are gorgeous. The other sides all have a metallic to them. Every single one of them. Now, I am going to, right off the bat, I'm going to tie a bow. Mm, I guess I'll do it here so we can... I'm going to put another piece in there. So that's going to be at two and a half. There we go. I may put that at the bottom. I'll decide that after. Maybe overkill. We'll see. Okay. So now we have our two panels. Like that. I am going to commit to a ribbon on this top panel. And I think I'm just going to tie a square knot in the interest of speed as opposed to a bow. I'm going to sneeze. I apologize if I sneeze into the camera. There we go. Ah, should have tied the bow. I'm just going to tie the bow. Yes, the foil side is as beautiful as the design side. It It's really tough paper to choose. Very tough paper to choose. So I'm telling you, do not sit and wait on this because I, I don't know. Maybe like the Christmas paper. It may go out, may come back in. But, you know, fall doesn't last forever, and by the time it comes back in, your projects may be over. You may be on to Christmas. I'm not sure. So I wouldn't wait, I guess, is what I'm saying. This truly is the loveliest catalog. 
Okay. There we go. We have our little bow. Now what are we going to do? Who knows? But we have a bow. <laughs> the copper ribbon is gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Now I think we need to do some die cutting. So let me get my little plates and my machine. And again, I apologize because I did not plan to use my die cuts. I do think I am going to do the big maple. I think we need more contrast. I love this. Love this. I don't know that this is showing as pretty as it truly is, but I love that. It's a very, uh, it's looking more muted on my camera. It's um, basically pecan pie. It doesn't look that way here. It almost has more of a suede look here. Uh, you know what, Janet? I'm not certain. I will have to look for you. I can look it up or you might be able to find it on the online store. Yep, I want to go with green. Um, so I'm not certain about that, but I can look it up for you and get back to you on that. All right, I'm going to cut a three-inch piece. Of, it's old olive and copper. Oh, look at that. It's the pattern I chose on the other side. Okay, and I'm going to cut a leaf. I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe I'll cut this pattern too since I love this color so much and you can cut two at a time with our DSPs it saves you a little time oh itchy nose all of a sudden excuse me <laughs> I knew that was coming I apologize Okay, now I do fear we might need something besides these. Maybe we'll connect those like that so that it covers up the greeting. Excuse me. Um, maybe we'll take, maybe we'll make like a big spray here. Maybe we'll take this big leaf. We'll cut a couple of those. Let's see. Oh, there's a different green. Let's use that one. Maybe we'll add some mauve in there. What the hay? So I'm just cutting three inch pieces because that's what fits in the machine. So I have my two pieces. It's a different old olive. Hey, Connie. Getting ready for the fall on that farm, are you? I will do a couple of different leaves here. What else do we have in here? Oh, maybe this leaf that has a little veining in it. We'll make a whole spread. And then... Maybe after, I'll grab a piece of some kind of foil paper to do little springs. Or maybe even just, uh, well, maybe we could do it out of the wood grain paper. Okay. All right. Get this out of here. Boom. I should have my pokey tool, but I'm very unprepared. I know you're shocked. I'm unprepared, right? <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at the back of that one. Now, that looks like a real maple leaf. All right. And I think last but not least, I am going to take these twigs, and I am going to use my scrap piece here and cut these out because I think they'll just make nice little accents. Okay. I love this mini machine. 
I love the big boss. I call them the boss. Big boss, baby boss. Um, but truthfully, sometimes it's ha nice having something so lightweight. Okay, so there's one, but look at the other side. So I wasn't planning on using the sparkly side, but that was the side I was going to use, but I think I might use the sparkly side. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. Get this out of the way. And... Now, I'm going to put my dies back because I'm good for losing my dies. And it's pretty early in the season to lose my dies. I have a lot of class cutting to do. No time for losing dies. Look, I have one more leaf stuck in here. There we go. And again, I was planning on using that, but I don't know. Maybe that. That's so pretty. All right. I'm going to move my paper off to the side just to make room while we go here. I have my silicone mat. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is I am going to cut a little layer in here so that I know how much I have to cover with all these leaves. Okay, because we're going to have like this. So let's take a guess. I am going to say three inches by, uh, that's five and a half. Let's say four and a quarter by three inches. That might be a little too narrow. Let's try that. Maybe three and a quarter. Let's try three and a quarter by four and a quarter. I might need to cut that down. Let's see if that proportion looks right. Now that may be, oh, well, we might be able to cut that. We might be able to cover that. I'm going to cut this to three. So this is four and a quarter by three. Like that. Okay, let's adhere this inside. And remember this scrap? Remember that scrap? That's not the scrap. <laughs> there was one with these trees. There it is. Remember this scrap? I think I'm actually going to put this down the bottom. So I'm going to cut that to three inches. And I am going to commit on that. I'm going to put that right down the bottom, like that. Okay, Maria, how are you? I did not post them yet, Connie, tomorrow, tomorrow. But listen, when we're done here, go back and watch the beginning because I unveiled a very cool light box, okay? All right, let's close this up. And what we want to do is we, I'm looking to essentially... build kind of a spray that will cover up the majority of my white so you don't see the writing. So here's kind of like what I'm looking to do. Something like this. You have to keep it in the four and a quarter, don't forget. So I'm kind of looking to build something like this. So I'm going to pull this apart piece by piece and go at it. Because sometimes there's no other way to do it but to start to build it. And I'm going to do this with white glue. So I'm going to start up here. Well, uh, you know what I am going to do it flat. You know why? It'll give it just a little bit more stability. Make sure none of that glue is hanging down. So I'm bringing it right to the edge. Like that. Now off of that, I am going to add that piece like that. So I just want to add glue here. Lots of glue. Maybe too much glue. We'll find out. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Now I need to cover up down here, so I'm going to do the big pink one. Now this is tricky. I'm going to add the pink to the back, like this. 
Let's see. I think I want it to come out about here. So I'm going to add some glue here, like that. Now, I want to add this green over here to cover up this portion. So again, I'm going to add some messy glue here. As you can see, I'm not that particular. Oh, green or that? Oh, oh. Yeah, I think we're going to add glue dots. See, Karen, how smart you are? Karen's always showing me up over there with her smartness. You know what? I think I'm going to use this pattern. So instead, I am going to pop this pattern here. And Karen's right. Glue dots would make a world of difference here. There we go. So now that's covering that corner. I'm going to add this in here to cover this corner. And I don't want to get it on here because I want to be able to open up the card. Like this. And we just need to make sure it's tucked in so that it fits in the envelope. You don't want to be hanging over. Now I need to grab a rag. Because as you can see, I have made a mess here. But that's all right. We can we can rebuild it. Uh, <laughs> do it clean wrap saran wrap. Oh, whose idea is that? Who's that, Connie? Look at that. So Connie's saying to put it on the saran wrap. Put it all together. Very interesting, Connie. I've never tried that technique. All right. I do want to add a little bit of... Oh, that's pretty, isn't it, when you open it up? I was going to put something here. You know, I was thinking a leaf there or something, but cheap, you, you don't even need to. Look at that. So I am going to add this for a little bit of interest just to break it up a bit. So this guy is going to go right up here. I'm going to tuck him in here like that. He's got some glue on him. And I think I'm going to tuck this guy. I'm going to add this guy to the back. Spread that glue out a little bit. So these do have creases. Um, they score and they get like little, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, little slits in them from, from, I'm going to see if I can get this to go through so you can see. They have like little score lines here and here, but they're actually cut through. Oh, maybe you can see it there on that one. See it? So they're kind of cool. So when you put glue on them, they do get messy pretty quickly. I'm going to add the green down here just because this is a lot of brown. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to add these twigs. Now again, I was planning to use this wood texture, but I think I'm going to use the shimmery. And I am going to take Karen's suggestion on the glue dots if I can find a pack. Let me go to my table. I'm sure I have them there. So I am going to add glue dots to this twig. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the glue dot on the front of this twig so I can tuck it under my ribbon or my leaf and press it down. like that and I can go back and add glue to this or I can leave it a little more loose I think I may leave it a little more loose and I think this one again I'm gonna put the glue dot on the front so I can tuck it under a leaf and I'm gonna put it under here so that will it hang down too long I think I'm gonna have to pull this up just a little bit like this, so it hangs down in that corner. There we go. And I don't even have a greeting on it. I didn't even do any 
leaf then wrap. Oh, you think you would have, uh, oh, you glue the root leaves and then you take the saran wrap off. Oh, so smart, Connie. So smart. How cute is that? All right, let's get a little saying for inside here. Didn't even need my silicone mat. Who knew? Um, with all of this, I think I am going to use pecan pie. And you know what? I said that was pecan, and it's not. It is actually copper clay. That's actually copper clay color, that leaf. So we have autumn teaches us, autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. That's what I want to use right there. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. I love that. This is my dirty block from the other day when we were working. I think that was Tuesday. Yeah, all about fall is awesome, isn't it? And I'm just going to stamp this up top. And there we go. There we go. There's our Thankful Thursday card. So I said quick and simple. Might not have been too quick, but it was pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't look simple, but as you can see, it didn't require a lot of work. And I don't know exactly how long I spent on it, but I did not spend hours on this card. It came together very quickly. I am going to add adhesive to the back of this ribbon so that it's not shifting up and down. But I'll do that another day. So there we go. A leaf in crumb cake, vine in pecan pie. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. Yeah, so you don't even need all this DSP. You could use the dyes and do it in just regular colors. It'd be beautiful. So there we go. All right. Thank you for being here. Again, this is the Autumn Leaves Bundle. And um, this is the die cut that would go with the saying that I used. And um, September 6th, which is next Wednesday, I believe. Um, so I will see you tomorrow for Fun Fold Friday. I'm sorry, I have no idea on the time. If you want to get my email tomorrow, it'll be out early in the morning. Email me at kbedell at comcast.net. B-E-D-E-L-L. -L. And uh, let me know that you want to be on my email list. And like I said, you're going to see an awful lot in tomorrow's email. And again, normally I stagger them out and I do, you know, my clubs and usually one class a month. I'm putting more than one class out there a month because I have serious concerns about product being out of stock. Some of the Halloween dyes are already out of stock and um, they're due back shortly after the catalog goes live so I'm not worried about those but a lot of the other stuff I'm worried about so if you love a lot of the classes and it's not in your budget to pay for it all tomorrow when the email comes out just shoot me a detailed email when I ship the class I can PayPal invoice you and you can pay it then um, so whatever the date is that I say it's going to mail around that time, I can send you a PayPal invoice. Um, you can call and give me a credit card that I can charge at that time, or, um, you can mail me a check at that time too. So, uh, but if you see something you like, sign up for it, put down that you're paying by check. And if you're really not going to send a check right away, just send me a note saying what you've purchased and how you want to be billed for it and when you want to be billed for it. And I will do that. That way I can get all the papers in house for all the class. And I know everybody's good. Everybody will get what they want. Okay. All right, you guys. So I will see you. Mary, you are on the email list. Yes. Thank you. Connie, I believe you are too, but I will check both your names. Um, yes. Right? Because the dies are so quick and easy. And the DSP, I actually, you can actually die cut three of these uh, DSP pieces at once. I only did two, but you can do three at once, which is kind of awesome. So, uh, all right, you guys. I hope you have a great Thursday night. I will post tomorrow what time Funfold Friday will be. I'm not exactly sure what my schedule is going to be. But um, I will see you tomorrow for Funfold Friday. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope you have an awesome Labor Day weekend. I will not see you Tuesday or Wednesday next week because I have my cataract surgery and my follow-up appointment. 
And um, so I will see you till next Thursday. Corinne, I know I have your mailing address, which probably means I have your email. Um, feel free to send it to me if you want, but I'm pretty sure I have your email. I can look it up, but it's on my phone, which I'm currently using. So, um, all right, you guys, thank you so much. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.